Yeah, we're getting her just about ready to paint. So we got that ready, sanded out the spot primer, the uh, primer surfacer. It's all coming up real nice. And we put some putty in spots. Looks like you got a little dust on you. Tons of dust. <laughs> that all got spot puttied right there over that wheel well. Looking pretty good. We got the hood pretty worked up. Yeah, it's not bad. If I, I mean, do it again, I think I would have done, I think I would have done another, before we did this primer surfacer, I would have done another full coat of Bondo. Yeah. And, and blocked it out again. Yeah. But. Yeah, it was it was that bad. There was there was enough we're kinda, ripples and stuff. We kind of just, uh, not, you know, <laughs> we brushed it a little. Well, we chased it. Yeah, but I think that would have cost another day. I don't really want to spend another day on it. No. How about this ridge? We're getting this ridge looking decent. That is the hardest thing to do is build that ridge up because yeah. it had a dent here and a swale down there and it's it's hard to uh, get that built up and squared up. I think it's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. You can feel nice. it's pretty nice. Yep. A little dent there. But that's pretty pretty nice now. And we had a spot over here. We did a little bit on this on these cab corners that got welded in. We missed the dent the whole time. Yeah. Working on this for you know over a week. There was that a dent, dent right there. there the whole time. But it's pretty easy to miss because it doesn't have it's not in the middle of a large body panel. So you know, all the sanding you do, you don't see it. No, we That's just That's usually how you it. catch a dent, you know, when you're sanding, so. But, I saw it. Yeah, I think we're looking okay. All right, so I guess we'll hit it again tomorrow, right, Con? And this is, really this is the new Central Pneumatic from, yeah, our favorite, Harbor Freight. So we're gonna try this out today on a paint job on this. Yeah. And we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, kind of how much was this gun? You remember like 60? 25 bucks. 25 bucks? Yeah, it's crazy. It's right? a 1.4 nozzle. It sure looks pretty, I mean, for 25 bucks. Um, Let's see if it shoots better than these older guns. Well, yeah, this is basically Versus. We're, we're going to do a Versus. Uh, how old are these Astros? I, I bought these back. They're 25, 30 years old. They're, old? Yeah. They're that old. What did yep. you shoot with them? That GMC, right? The, oh, the first time? I shot everything with this thing. Yeah. So this is an Astro. I don't remember the model. Does it say the model number on it anyway? Uh, uh, HVL P01. And this is the 1.9. And then we have a 1.5 nozzle. And that's this one. I bought them. They came as a set. And I use them on a lot of stuff, and I've had a lot of good results with them, actually. Yeah, HVL P01. Uh, Astro. This is it. I don't know. These these Astros were cheap. This one was obviously cheap. We'll see how it does. So we figured out that little knob at the bottom is the air control knob. Um, my other guns didn't have that, you know, but they had these uh, regulators on them that aren't really very good. <laughs> so I always just use wind up using the regulator that's on the on yeah. the hose. And when I said twenty nine, which is I think what is it twenty nine? Yeah, that's about what the range is for the primer too. Okay. Spec sheet, so. 29 PSI, huh? Mm. Eh, that's about 30. I think. I don't like the way this is graduated. How's that feel to you? It's saying 20 right now on this. When I pull it, it goes down to 10. So. Uh, you, you want, the pressure you want is when it's... When it's pulled. Oh, uh, we got a bad gauge. Something, something ain't right. What's that? Sounds good. That seems good. You like? Yeah. All right, let's set it up. Spray some primer with it and see what it looks like. You can see it. I'm right at that number three line. For this, we need to mix four to one to one. That's what it says on the can. And we have the other two uh, chemicals we have to add in. So now that one quart got me up to three. The next thing we drop in, we'll get it up to that three. And then we're gonna fill it up to that three. And then if we have to, we'll add a little reducer to thin it down if we need to. <clears throat> yeah, mix it all up. So this stuff, yeah. Got lots of solids. Yeah. JP335. 
And that takes us JH301. Pull up to the last line with 506. How's it look, Hans? Look, that looks right. Usually you can tell if you look at the way it sheens off the stick, I can always tell if my viscosity is pretty close. So then I never spent the dollar fifty for a real drip cup. Dollar fifty? And probably maybe two dollars. I think I it's know. just a touch thick, don't you? I think it's perfect. You think it's perfect? Well, okay. I think we try it, but we'll see if it we can't unthin it, so we're gonna try it first. That's it. Maybe it maybe a little thick, but you want it you want it a little heavier, it's a primer. Yeah. Well, no, it's a sealer. Oh, yeah, it's sealer. Don't be fooled. I know, I know. Don't be so foolish and call it a primer, even though that's the job it's doing. It says urethane sealer. <laughs> so they figured out how to make primer a sealer. By changing the name. That's what we're calling it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder how well it seals when you just paint your car in this and then drive it around for two years. <laughs> oh, that's not... Then it's a primer. Well, you know, you could have a light gray paint job. You just paint this on and clear coat it. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes that color. Course, wow. Actually, you know what? That's pretty close to some of the colors you see anymore. Oh, yeah. Toyota and Hyundai, they, they're kind of doing that. You're too close. <laughs> Whoa, that's nice, isn't it? Try that again. It's even. A little wide. Yeah, narrow it down a hair. Uh, the other way. That looks good. I look, I look like a oh, not there too now. Oh, I had that right there. All right. Well, don't waste it all on my door. I said, don't waste it all on my door. Ooh, that looks great. That looks great. That's a little wet, but they said wet, medium to wet, so I kind of went more on the wetter side. Yeah, I think if it wasn't horizontal, you might have a run. Oh yeah, definitely. But I think, uh, so you gotta be careful on these fenders. Well, that primer cover is nice, man. It's covering that right up nice. Looks good. Looks good. Leave it alone. Yep. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got it pretty much on the run. The primer's just about all done. Just going to finish up the hood there. Put down the uh, A pillars. Came out pretty good. We got a sag over here the primer so we gotta sand that out a little bit. You can just barely see it. So we gotta let this set up, we'll give that a quick scuff and then we're gonna go on to paint. <laughs> 